right, everyone. Day number two of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Drive to Denver up through the mountains this morning. I got a little squeak on an alternator belt, so we're going to uh, stop. You can see it fraying just a little bit, just in case I have to lose an alternator belt. We're going to stop and get a spare of those. Head into Canyon, and then uh, go up by the Royal Gorge, and then back the backside up to Denver. So, got the roof back on, the roof bag on with all of our luggage. So it's uh, probably looking like a road trip car, right? So, <laughs> all right, guys, let's hit the road. All right, everyone, we're cruising. We're uh, about 30 minutes into our drive now, and uh, heading up here to the Royal Gorge. Everything seems to be doing pretty good. The car's probably watching this little gauge that I have, maybe mid 20s, low 20s to the miles to gallon. So doing super good on fuel. Got a little bit of a whine in the back from the rear gears, some wind noise, all that. But uh, it's a blast. We just watched a bunch of cars kind of go through town as we're eating seeing all the hot rods and trailers and people cruising and revving and hype, waving at each other and everything. What a what a crazy fun event so far. We just uh, got to keep going for the next full five days. So <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but uh, super, super excited. Rolling into our first checkpoint. <laughs> Check out all the cars parked here. See the big gorge? Oh yes, this is so cool. What a what a cool scenic picture with all the cool cars here rolling in. This is this is too cool. This is freaking awesome. We'll get out, we'll take a picture with the car here, and then uh, we'll head back down the road. Made it to the first checkpoint. Bud's doing pretty good. April's hanging in there too. We got the Royal Gorge in the background. So pretty cool little stop. Got a bunch of cars here in the parking lot. Everybody's just kind of hanging out. I kind of didn't park in a parking spot, but we'll get our picture and we'll get out of here. Uh, you could, we could go walk across it, but since we are local to the area, we've been across it a few times. I was gonna pop it to where it loosened it up. We are repositioning the brake line. Trying to gain some clearance for it, can't really reposition it. We are trying to clearance the brake line. All these awesome people stopping for us, helping us out. Thanks to these guys for stopping. Helping us out. These are amazing people. This is what we do. Alright, so that was a sketchy one. We had the brake line rub the body up here and uh, it came loose, so all we had was front brakes. So some guys stopped, helped me out. I used a big hammer and a uh, I used a big hammer and like a uh, crowbar and beat in this some more because it was rubbing right up here. It rubbed here before, fixed that, now it's rubbing up here. So I bent this bracket back a little bit and then put this big pad right here. So hopefully when it goes up, it uh, at least pads it. And I also bent it and clearanced it. So hopefully it just won't even rub, but if so, at least have some padding to uh, to protect it. So we're gonna re-bleed the brakes and everything and then hopefully get back on the road here pretty quick. All right, so April helped me re-bleed the brakes. I added that big pad to the brake line, so hopefully uh, it doesn't hit. We're getting ready to go up through the mountains, so it's super important we have brakes, so we're gonna take it real easy, uh, and hopefully what I did at least will protect it enough. Uh, and I also put some tape in there to know if it's gonna rub or not. So uh, we're gonna get the car back down, packed up, and drink some water, try to stay hydrated. It's pretty cool. As people are coming off the road, give them a thumbs up, they'll keep going. If you need something, they, pretty much everybody stops and asks if you need something. So uh, that's where we're at, guys. Just gonna try to make some time now. Shout out to all these guys that stopped. Appreciate their help. We uh, after we got done bleeding, I was dumb and forgot to put the brake cap back on. So that's what we did. I found the seal lane in the road, but couldn't find the cap. So pushed down on the seal. I got a washer underneath this. Sealed it up at least enough to make it back to Canyon to try to find a uh, cap for it. So there's my little contraption: a grizzly can I found on the side of the road, a washer, and then a big clamp. So. Uh, but it came into the town, backtracked to O'Reilly here, found a cap, so we're gonna get it back on. And then I'll probably pull the car into the back and re-bleed the brakes, and hopefully we'll be good to go. So here we are, literally like probably three hours 
later in the exact same spot we were. We headed up, went to the gorge, took a photo, came out of the gorge, went to go turn on Highway 9, and I lost the rear brakes. The body was hitting the fitting, which I was kind of slightly worried about, but it seemed okay driving it, but once we loaded all the weight in it, um, it must have been hitting it, so it like unscrewed it, lost the fluid, all I had was front brakes to slow down, pull off the road, fixed it, rebled them, and then forgot to put the dang cap back on. Found the seal in the middle of the road, put the seal on with a Grizzly cute shoe can, a big thick washer, and a gigantic hose clamp from another race speaker. Lifted back into town with not the best brakes. Found the cap I needed on a part store. Put it on, rebled. Now the brakes seem pretty good. Now we're headed back up this hill. We're probably about five minutes away from Highway 9. And uh, we took all the weight. Try to move it up, we took the spare. There's the tool bag that's probably 20 pounds or whatever. We have the spare tire here, and we put the, next, the drag race wheels and tires above us towards the front, so it moves the weight to the front of the car. And then in the trunk, we just have our suitcases now to try to uh, favor weight to the front so the body doesn't wanna like hit it or come down as much. Um, I bought exhaust clamps or exhaust hangers, the big thick rubber hangers and I taped them to both sides of the fitting that it was hitting. I hit it more, clearance it more, so it shouldn't even rub, but if it does, there's like rubber, uh, like the thick rubber there to kind of protect it, and then a piece of foam over it, even a little bit more protection. So try to do everything we could to not have this issue with it. That's all been in the last three hours. <laughs> Crazy. So we're heading into the mountains. Yes, thank you everybody, all the people that stopped, all the people that just asked. Um, man, what an amazing event of just camaraderie and people, good people. Um, let's just hope we can make it to Denver now without too many issues. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll check back in with you guys here in a little bit. touched the fans this entire trip and it's at 125 degrees because of how cool it is outside with the rain and everything so 125 degrees air cool is uh i'm not exactly happy with that because well that's kind of cold to be running the motor for long distances but i'll take it um it's better than i guess us overheating every few miles but uh, I might end up cutting a piece of cardboard if we run into some other cold weather and helping block the radiator, help cool it. But uh, we're almost almost to Denver now, only a few more minutes, I think, out. See how it goes. Finish this route. Probably uh, re bleed the brakes. As we've been coming down, the brakes are like real soft. I gotta pop them once and then they come alive. They're not like losing fluid. I checked that at the top of one of the hills. But. Uh, it would just probably bleed them. Maybe got some more uh, air in them or something. They're just not fully happy, but they're working. I just would like them to be better for sure, especially for the track. 104 mile an hour, blazing speeds. We gotta, we gotta slow down. So, all right, guys, we'll uh, update you once we make it. Hopefully, still, still got a little ways to go, but kind of in the home stretch now. 
All right, everyone, so we are getting ready for day two here. Got the car all covered up from the rain. It's kind of sprinkling, so hopefully you don't have a bad day. But we made it to Denver, got to the hotel, ended up leading the brakes again, and everything seems pretty good. So we're going to head to the track now. Uh, if you guys want to see updates from today at Vandermeer, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys in the next video.